Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Selena Pereira. I love makeup and I am from Sydney, Australia. Today's video is going to be on this look right here using the Morphe 39A Dead Crepe Palette. If you've been watching some of the videos here on my channel or if you watched the last few videos, you would know that I am basically doing four looks on this palette, but instead of doing like a four looks one palette, I wanted to do separate videos to go a little bit more in depth and also to show you kind of lip options and all that kind of stuff as well. I also want to say guys, I'm really sorry for getting some of these videos up late. I've had a whole bunch of um, just stuff going on between moving and, you know, busy with work and all that kind of stuff that I wasn't able to film some of these videos before Christmas and even before New Year. So some of these videos will kind of be more just like going out or festive looks or even looks you can use for the next holiday season. Originally, this was supposed to be like all holiday looks because this is Morphe's holiday collection, but it hasn't quite panned out that way. So I just wanted to let you guys know in advance. Now, before we get into this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and if you guys want to see how to achieve this look right here then please keep on watching all right guys now getting into this video i've already got hand done my base my brows one eye off camera and we're going to turn this into this so i'm super excited i know my hair is a mess i don't even know what's going on back here my hair is falling out and falling apart um, but let's get right into the video now, shall we? So going into the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette, I'm going to take these two transition shades here, which are my favorites from the palette, and they are Bare and Canvas on a Morphe Art 40 brush. Just taking both of those, and I'm just going to fluff those into the crease. I'm going to go from inner to outer corner because I'm just going to make this a really nice, easy, smoky eye, just soft circular motions, making sure that I'm just kind of extending it out. As you can see, I'm not doing like a um, cut crease or a real like wig shadow, but I do want it to blend it out. I don't want it to just kind of just stop at the edge of my eye. I do want it to be nice and diffused out. Next, I'm going to take uh, this shade here in the palette, which is called Vibrant. It's kind of in the kind of pinky tones. I'm taking that with the same brush. It's just a really pretty warm brown shade. And just take a little bit of that and basically just apply it in the same areas. It's gonna bring a lot of warmth into this look. All right, I'm gonna take this shade here, which is called Frame, which is above that first transition shade, a Morphe E22 brush. And this is a fluffy brush, but I want this shadow to be kind of all over the lid, but blending into the crease as well. So this shade, this brush is gonna be perfect for that because it is nice and dense but it is also nice and fluffy, so it's gonna also help to blend. So I'm just gonna start off with, by just patting, I'm getting a little bit of fallout. I'm gonna dust that away before it gets worse, and I'm just gonna apply some powder. This is my um, uh, RCMA makeup powder, and just a beauty sponge. Just gonna apply that underneath. I'm just gonna just be safe. So just applying this all over the lid, and from inner to outer corner and this I'm also just making sure that I kind of very lightly blend it into the crease so what I'm doing is is I'm stamping it and then when I've got less product on the brush I'm then gonna blend it into the crease as well so it's gonna give you that really nice kind of soft transition if you feel like you need to which I do at the moment just go back into your R40 and just uh, blend that out so it's nice and seamless and I'm just gonna build up that color intensity a little bit more these shadows do build up very nicely, so you can definitely build it up. But um, just do it nice and slowly, and then just go back in with your brush to blend. Now I've got that on, we are going to cover it all with some shimmer anyway. I just like to have a base color down, just that way, if there is any shimmer that, or if there's any spots on the eye where it doesn't have any shimmer, or where the glitter doesn't uh, stick to, you've got a base color underneath that still doesn't make it look like it's just bare, and that you've got nothing on your eyes. That's why I like to apply just like a base color underneath. So I am now gonna apply some shimmer to the lid and I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade here from the palette called Artistic, this really stunning bronze shade. And I'm also gonna use a fluffy brush to apply that as well. This is a Morphe M505. Okay, so I've just got that on the brush and I'm just going to just apply it straight onto the lid. And the reason that I'm using a fluffy brush is because again, I want it to be nice and soft and diffused. I don't want it to be so concentrated. I mean, you can see it's still really nice and bright but I don't want it to be like a super foiled effect or like a super packed on effect. I just want it to be really nice and light and almost kind of uh, blend in to the crease a little bit. And going with the glitter. So super easy, super quick uh, with that kind of eyeshadow. Very kind of easy application. Now for the fun part, I'm going to use the NYX glitter. This one is in the shade 08 Bronze. 
And basically with this, I'm literally, I'm going to use this same brush to apply it. So I'm going to first take, um, this is the Sephora Glitter Guard 24 Hour Primer. I love this glitter glue. Um, I'm just applying this to my finger over my lid. And then I'm just going to take that glitter and just um, dip my brush in there. And I'm just going to pack that just over the top where I applied that glitter base. And again, this is going to give you really nice and just kind of blended application. It's not going to give you a really precise glitter application, which again, I like for this kind of a look. I'm also going to apply a little bit kind of just more up here, kind of going into my crease a little bit. Um, again, I want that nice, really blown out, just all over, very shimmery look. I want this to be a really easy kind of festive look that you can do um, rather than being just so precise and intense. And for my liner, I'm first going to use this one here. This is from the brand Mina. It's called the Pen Eyeliner. This has been my new favorite kind of felt tip liner. That's what it looks like there. Um, I do have a total review coming up on this brand, so please stay tuned. I'm not going to give too much away, but do stay tuned. This, I will say, though, is one of my faves. So I'm just going to do a very intense wing, as you can see on this side. And because I can't do this and talk at the same time, I will be right back. All right, now I've got the shape of the eyeliner done. Now, because I have all of this glitter situation here, I never like to use a felt tip liner um, on top of glitter. I just find it doesn't really work properly. I just find that the glitter just kind of bunches up and doesn't really look great. So I am going to take a liquid liner. This is the NYX liquid liner, and I love this black liquid liner. And so I'm just going to fill that in. And because we've got that line already done, it's super easy to just fill it right in. And it just covers over the glitter so easily. Now that I've done my line, I'm just going to do some brow bone highlight. I'm just going to use the MAC Oh Darling. Yes, Oh Darling Extra Mention Skin Finish. And I'm just going to use a, it's just a MAC uh, shader brush. It's a uh, 239. So next up is lashes. I'm going to be applying the Lee Lashes in the style Mykonos. They're one of my favorites. All right, guys, now the lashes are on. And just before I go ahead, I just want to let you guys know that I did apply these lashes a little bit different to how I normally would. So instead of applying these lashes closer to the inner corner and really close to my lash line, so I probably started applying them kind of after the first third. And then what I've done with the outer corner is I've actually applied it kind of on top of my wing. And that's actually a drag technique. And I've done that just to make my eyes look a little bit more lifted, make them a little bit more dramatic. Um, so literally, if you actually look really close, my lash is sitting like right up here like right on top of where my liner is. And that's where also a thick liner really helps because if you want to do that kind of a technique, it'll really just disguise it. Now moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and take this brush here from BH Cosmetics. It's just like a fluffy kind of uh, flat definer brush. Um, so I'm going to take that shade that I was using uh, before, the darkest shade, which was called Frame. And I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line as close as I can to the lashes. Then I'm going to take that other shade that I used before, which was Vibrant. Lastly, taking my R40 going into Bare and Canvas and just blending those two out. I like a really nice grungy eye, so I like to make sure that my eyeshadow comes all the way down. For my waterline, I'm going to go ahead and apply this pencil here from MAC. This is the eye Coal in the shade Paragon. It's from the Brand Brothers collection and it's just really pretty kind of like champagne shade. It's super pretty. So I'm just going to apply that to the waterline. Applying some of the Tarte Gifted Mascara to my bottom lashes. And now because this look has a really thick and fierce liner and I have used these lashes a few times, I'm going to go ahead and take my liner again. This is the NYX Liquid Liner. And I'm going to basically apply it onto the actual lash band. It's just going to help to hide it and also in case there's any kind of like shimmer or any um, eyeshadow that's on it, it will just kind of help to blank that all out and make them look like a new pair of lashes. So basically what I do is I close my eye and I hold my lashes down and then I basically just paint onto the actual lash band. To Now last but definitely not least, we do have to have an inner corner highlight. So I'm going to use this press pigment from Morphe in the shade Hollywood Vixen. And to apply it, I'm using a Morphe E18 brush. And I am going to very lightly just wet the brush so I can get maximum pigment. Alright guys, now this look is complete. I just want to go ahead and just pair it with a lip and I think that the perfect 
combination is the Orphra and Morphe collaboration. And this is the lip kit in the shade Vinyl. So first taking the Vinyl lip pencil and just lining my lips. Now going with the Vinyl liquid lipstick and just applying that all over my lips. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and be sure to leave me a comment down below on what you want to see next. If you guys want to check me out on my other social media, then please go to Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook and Pinterest. That all is Selena J. Pereira. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until the next one, I love you guys. Mwah!